Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. As requested in this video, we're going to be looking at the Catalyst Linux proprietary drivers against the Radeon open source drivers. This time, however, I'm using a more stable Mesa version, 10.5.2 to be specific, as per the advice of some of you. The FPS might set to 1000 so that we're not kept at the 300 limits, so let's go ahead and see what results we get. Starting right off the bat, we're going with 1080p at maximum settings, and what we're seeing here is on average an 8 frames per second difference with the Catalyst driver in the lead and Radeon in second place. So it's not that big of a difference but it could mean quite a lot especially since we're at 30 frames per second. So when we turn off the settings entirely at 1080p we're seeing what looks to be 5 frames per second difference with the Radeon driver now taking the lead instead. But since the frames are so high that difference hardly makes uh, a, a difference. So what happens if we reduce the resolution to 720? Now keeping the maximum settings on we're seeing what looks to be 12 frames per second difference on average with the Catalyst driver still leading, at least with the settings set to max, which does make quite a difference here even though it's only 12 frames per second. But when we turn off the settings entirely and keeping it at 720p, we're looking at only a 6 frames per second difference on average with the Radeon drivers leading, but because the frame rates are so high, it barely makes a difference here. It really matters when the frame rates are pretty low. So this is what I'm seeing side by side when I'm running it at max settings 1080p on either driver. So on the left is the Catalyst 15.3 and on the right is the Radeon 10.5.2 which both come as the default drivers for Ubuntu 15.04. So what we're seeing here is generally throughout this you'll notice that the Catalyst driver is able to hold a larger frame rate even if only by a bit but those additional three 4, 5 frames per second matter because we are below the 60 FPS threshold here. Since we're trying to reach 30 frames per second to at least be playable, the Radeon driver does fall short here when all settings are on and I think this could be due to anti-aliasing. From what I've seen the open source drivers are generally not very good at anti-aliasing in general. So that's pretty much it for the side by side view, you can see what's going on here. Alright, so we're done with the testing and we've got some pretty interesting results this time around with the Radeon drivers and the Catalyst drivers fighting for the top spot. So when we go with absolute maximum settings at either resolution, we're definitely seeing Catalyst come out on top. However, the tables turn, only a bit though, when we turn off the settings completely at either resolution. So 1080p, 720p with no settings on, everything low, the Radeon driver comes out on top, but only by a bit of FPS. When everything is maxed though, it's pretty clear that the Catalyst driver seems to be able to hold a larger foothold here. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you found the results interesting and educational in one way or another, and thank you for watching.